Hi, this is Will. And this is James again. We're talking about the rope right now. Uh, you should have, should be one nearby. Yeah, the rope was um, the very, very first thing I ever did in the entire game. It kind of seeped into being quite an important part of the world layout. We sort of had this whole uh, Metroidvania items thing, and the rope was very much our first, like, you know, that's the rockets that let you get through the door in Metroid. It was such an early flag we planted in the ground for ourselves. So, yeah, there were lots of technical things, well, weren't there? All the rope climbs are different, all the rope slides are different. Uh, minorly different, but different enough. Uh, so the rope had to be physically simulated. It couldn't be just a pre-canned animation. Uh, in order to get that to work, it took a ton of time, lots of iterations. Uh, in the end, I had to basically make Henry's hand a gravity well whenever he's on the rope, and then grab the nearest parts of the rope and reskin them to uh, bones that I was just making out of math around Henry's hand and belt. So his like left hand, right hand, and belt are all take over as fake bones, and we reskin the rope every frame to get that to match up perfectly. And if you look real close at the rope, you can see sort of a little bit in front of his hands, the texture on it. The tiling changes and kind of squishes and stretches and squishes and stretches as you go down. Uh, and that's because the rope position doesn't naturally always like line up with even spacing when I swap in those fake bones. Yeah, the, the rope is one of the best examples if you were to like zoom the camera out and look at uh, what's going on, where like I'm sort of animating by the seat of my pants and like just keeping his hands in the perfect position so that that transition between the physics rope and the skinning version of the rope, you know, doesn't. Uh, blends too strangely and um, it's probably the the set of animations in the game that has the most versions made. There's probably like 10 different versions of climbing down. There used to be things where your hands would swap in front of you, you know, picking the rope from one to the other and obviously that is unbelievably ridiculously complicated once we had a physical rope. And nice thing is you can get on it from anywhere and at any time and it all works so it was it was worth it in the end but quite a bit of quite a bit of effort.